Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different, and welcome to Different Well YouTube channel. I hope you all out there are having a wonderful day like me, your girl. And if not, you better be manifesting, planning, and preparing for a better one because it's surely coming to you all for show. If this is your first time, welcome. Like I said, my name is Different. I'm an author, motivational speaker, and CEO of Third Eye Entertainment LLC, a business that strives to bring social awareness to society through our products and services in which we educate, entertain, and inspire all at once. So again, if this is your first time welcome be sure before you leave to hit that subscribe button all right if this is uh, more than your second time welcome back i'm happy to have you guys back today is monday happy monday you guys uh you know in different world we drop our motivation content on mondays be it motivational monday so this one's no different we're going to title this one unfinished business or finishing what you started um, I was taught by my mother, uh, the one and only Vernon Shelby, Nancy Shinnerberry, rest in peace, uh, to always finish what I've started. You know, don't start something if you ain't gonna finish it, Cole. That's what she would always tell me. And so, um, I want to share with you guys um, my outtake on, you know, when it comes to going after your dreams. Uh, sometimes you you stop it, you know, it just it comes to you reach a plateau and you're not able to go further than what you thought and you let it go and you move on. Um, but sometimes, you know, as years and time pass, and you look back on that dream and you think, man, wow, what would have happened if I, you know, never gave up or if I kept going? You know, if you have those feelings or thoughts, uh, looking back on your past, you know, you know, mistakes or your dreams that you went after and gave up on, you know, it's a perfect time now to finish what you started. And so I encourage those out there, you know, who started writing, you know, singing, those who even, you know, dropped out of school, go back to school, you know, finish what you start, you know, lead by example for those that come after you. Um, there are a lot of people out there, you know, like me that are writing, you know, in the midst of writing, it's, it's a hard process and they want to just give up. There are plenty of times when I was writing my book, um, I had writer's block and I couldn't, you know, finish what I started, but I just had to mush up that courage to, you know, push through and just keep writing. You know, I kept telling myself, you know, like the little line in the, what was it, Finding Nemo, you know, keep swimming, just keep swimming by Dory. She used to say that, so I would tell myself, just keep writing, just keep writing, and oh, eventually, you know, I got there to a, you know, a finished product, and, and I was able to sell it to the uh, public. And so, again, like I want to encourage any writers out there, you know, any authors that are, you know, experiencing writer blocks, I'm right there with you guys. I've been through that and you will get through it. All you have to do is just keep writing and keep going and just tell yourself, I'm going to finish what I've started. You know, when it comes to losing weight, it's more than just a physical process. You have to be mentally, you know, physically and, and spiritually ready to change your eating habits as well as your, your mental habits. For me, I'm an emotional eater. And so, you know, when I get upset or my anxiety get the best of me, you know, I don't really go tell people my business or talk with people that, you know, I, don't, I just, that's never been me other than my therapist. Uh, so I turn to food. And so losing weight is, 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 a, is a process for me now. I didn't, at one point I lost 100 pounds and, and through the pandemic and being lazy and stop going to the gym, I didn't gain it all back and did some. And so now I have to start all over again, but that's okay. As long as I finish what I started, and eventually, you know, I will succeed. And so I encourage anybody out there that's going through that, that type of situation, you know, when it comes to the health, getting back into that gym or keeping that consistency of going to the gym or waking up in the morning, just little by little, man. Just turn your look, just look at it as small victories. Don't don't worry about the big victories in advance, so to speak. Just break it down piece by piece and work on those small victories. And then eventually that's how it turns into big victories. So just little by little when it comes to, you know, getting back on track with your weight, don't put no more on yourself than you can bear and don't don't give yourself unrealistic expectations. Oh, I'm gonna lose thirty pounds in a month. No, that's not gonna happen unless you're gonna take the shortcut. Away. And I don't encourage anybody to do anything that, that harms themselves or their bodies or anybody else when it comes to, you know, losing weight or, you know, trying to cut weight for a fight or, or just to look good to fit that baby suit. You know, don't do that. You know, you can do some real, do some real harm to yourselves. And so when it comes to, you know, finishing what you started, do it the right way. I will say that as well. That's important to uh, remember. Uh, what else we got? 
uh, when it comes to finishing. It, it can be a myriad of things. Like I said, for those, you know, who dropped out of school, you know, in high school or in college, you know, you want to go back and get that degree, you know, if you can't stop thinking about, you know, like I said, that what if, what if I would have went back to school, what if I, you know, would have finished uh, that, that class and got my degree, now is the time, you know, it's a now and never situation, like I say, time and time again, for those, you know, this pandemic has taught us that, you know, life is not promised tomorrow, so those that feel in destiny, it's time for you to get up, get out, get something, get that mindset that you about to have that come up like Cardi B or that comeback like Robert D. There is no more in between, you guys. It's time to go out for go out for yours because tomorrow's not promised. And so finish what you start. If it was something, you know, you had dreams and aspirations of starting your business, and you didn't, you never got to that business plan, go finish that business plan and then go and try to get that loan so that you can get that business started. And so you can finish what you start. Um, like I say, you guys, it's not just about one person practicing or preaching to you guys you, you need to hear from others and so with that being said i want to share with you guys like i do every time uh, another dope video from motiversity it's called uh listen focus and get it done with the speaker uh, my favorite my good speaker he's a real good speaker i like him marcus elevation taylor so take a look at this video clip uh, listen to what they're saying how it ties into uh, getting you know things done or finishing what you started or if you have unfinished business so take a look check it out and once we come back I'll give you a little bit more details of what's going on in difference well yeah here it is man let's go it's time you got one life to live it's time to get it done I don't know who you are where you're from but get it done it's time to listen. It's time to focus. What haven't you been able to accomplish? What has stopped you? What has haunted you? Why are you losing sleep over it? All roads lead back to what you're focusing on and who you're listening to. Energy flows where focus goes. So what are you focused on? If you haven't been able to get it done, today marks the first day of the best days of your life. So where focus goes, energy flows. I'm talking to you. If you're going to get it done, I need you to listen and focus. At all costs, protect your peace. If you're gonna get it done, you gotta let some things go. Stop waiting to feel like it. Stop waiting until you see it. Stop waiting for somebody to come and save you. Nobody's coming to rescue you. The problem with many of you is that you're focused on your fears. You're focused on the risk more than you are the reward. The prize goes to the hardest worker in the room. The question is, how bad do you want this? The problem with many of you is that you're not tired enough. You're focused on the pain of the process more than you are the glory on the other side. You're listening to the wrong people. You're listening to the wrong voices. It's time to pull that energy from fear. Pull that energy away from doubt how bad do you want this if you can hear my voice i'm just wondering if you are bold enough if you are daring enough if your faith is outrageous enough to take a chance on yourself it's time to manifest it's time to get it done fight 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 for your future. It may hurt, but get it done. With tears in your eyes, get it done. If nobody believes in you, get it done. If the person you love most walks out on you, get it done. If your children don't believe in you, get it done. If your spouse don't believe in you, get it done. It's always impossible until it's done. So get it done.
Are you willing to sacrifice? Are you willing to let go of some things? Are you willing to put the work in? Are you ready to be consistent? Are you tired of this version of yourself? Get over the pain. Get over the trauma. Get over the betrayal. Get over who left you. Get over who lied on you. Get over it. If you're going to get it done, you've got to get over it. Release the pain. Release the unforgiveness. Release the fear. If you're going to get it done, you're going to have to eliminate all distractions and put your blinders on. I don't know what your goal is. Let the world reject you. Let the world close doors on you. Let the world tell you no. I'm just wondering, can you dig deep inside yourself? The future goes to the hardest worker in the room. You have everything you need to get started. Stop waiting for the weather to change in your life. Stop waiting for the perfect conditions. Stop waiting for a handout. Stop waiting for everybody to believe in you and cheer for you and affirm you. Life knocked you in the mouth years ago and you haven't hit back yet. You hit back with determination. You hit back with focus. You hit back when you listen. You hit back when you are disciplined. You hit back with resilience. Get in the ring and hit back. It's time to get up and hit back. Stand in a mirror and tell yourself, I've got a destiny to fulfill. It's simple, but it's not easy. But all you have is all you need. It's the start that stops most people. Start now. All right, everybody, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that uh, inspirational clip by Motiversity titled Listen, Focus, Get It Done uh, with the motivational speaker, Mr. Marcus Taylor. Be sure to check out their YouTube channel. I uh, have their link below in the description. Uh, but if also, if you guys like my video uh, with Unfinished Business, be sure to uh, like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You guys definitely, uh, I, I like it said in the video, man, when it comes to starting what going after your dreams and when you get started you have to finish my mother always told me don't start something if you don't finish you know and so everything that I have gone after in life or started I've somewhat finished or made it a point to finish it if I'm not if I have not finished it yet I'm working towards it and so um, and it's okay to you know have had those points where you have to stop you have setbacks or you have to you know reevaluate and rethink how you're going to achieve those goals or uh, uh, finish what it is that you, you started. And so that's okay. Just as long as you keep going and keep putting one foot in front of the other, like I said, you will get there eventually. And so no matter how many setbacks you have, no many times you give up or give up on yourself, it's okay. Just know that, you know, you can start over again and you can finish what you start. You know, like I say, you're the one that's in control of this ship. You're the captain of the ship. So nobody else determines when it's time to give up or give in 
on yourself but you and so i encourage everybody out there that's going after their dreams or that's went after their dreams and it, it came to a, a halt or end or they had to give up at that time go ahead and finish what you started you know if it's on your heart too now it's a difference between you tried something out it didn't work and you moved on from it that's fine but it, it's opposed to you know something that was really true in your heart you went after it something happened to where you weren't able to finish it and it's still on your heart to go after it then that is when you know you have to finish what you start and so um with that being said you guys Thank you so much for listening and tuning in. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this video if you like the topic of what I brought to you guys today in regards to our motivational content. Uh, as well as you guys, don't forget, be sure to check me out on all my social media handles on Facebook, Instagram, my Twitter, as well as my YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button, you guys. Uh, don't forget. Go to my website, differenceworld.net, and get my book. Where is it? Right here. It should be right here down to my left. Uh, my book, What If? A Controversial Paradigm Shift. Again, it's a book that is written to encourage and inform thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systemic racism in America. And I've done this through in provocative and graphic illustrations. And again, it's intended for a mature audience. So for those that can't take this type of heat, do not bother coming to this kitchen. But if so, head on over to differenceworld.net and get your copy, you guys. I truly appreciate all the love and support that I am getting. And please keep it coming. I, I definitely uh, adore it. So you guys, uh, as well as, real quick, let's do a mental health check before we get out of here. Again, for anybody that's going through any type of mental anguish, be it uh, depression, feeling suicidal, anxieties, even being bullying or dealing with you know recovery, relapse, whatever the case may be, anything, man, that 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 pushing you off the, to the ledge, man. Just know that it is okay to not be okay, but never sit there and not be okay. Go get help, whatever that may be, be it talking to a therapist, a family member friend, uh, picking up a hobby, you know, getting rid of some old bad habits, or, or people that don't mean you know well in life, mending broken bridges, whatever it is that you have to do to free yourself from that mental bondage and, you know, keep you from going off the deep end and hopefully not taking anybody else with you, do it. If you need or know anybody else that needs these mental resources, please share it with them. The crisis hotline number is 1-800-273-8255. Or if you would prefer to call or text, you can text 988 or call it. Or you can text 741741. For those who prefer to go online, you can go to mentalhealthishelp.us or you can go to 988lifeline.org. For those that are outside of the U.S., you can go to incounseling.com. Again, incounseling, spelled E-N-C-O-U-N-S-E-L-I-N-G. Dot com. And again, just remember that it is okay to not be okay, but never ever sit there and not be okay. All right. And so with that being said, you guys, again, I appreciate the love and support. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure, don't forget you guys hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, uh, share the video, uh, and like as well. I definitely appreciate all. Tomorrow is Tuesday. And so we have our social awareness a vlog so i'll be dropping um i'm actually gonna go vote uh get ahead of the game with the early voting you guys out here in texas so i'm gonna go vote and so i'll be dropping my social awareness vlog uh entitling with the voting that's going on right now here in texas and so be on the lookout for that you guys that's coming tomorrow and with any and everything else you guys just remember whatever it is in life that you are feeling you are destined for you have to manifest plan and prepare for it and then it will surely come to you all Different world. Come and learn. Peace. What if? What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? 
What if a controversial paradigm shift is a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America through graphic but provocative illustrations? What if provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical? What if? A Controversial Paradigm Shift by Author Different. Go to differenceworld.net.